To write the name for sulfur dichloride, we first need to determine what type of compound we have. Sulfur, that is a nonmetal. And then chlorine, that's also a nonmetal. So we have two nonmetals. That means this is going to be a covalent, also called a molecular bond. So we can use these rules here to write the name for SCL2. First, we'll write the name for both elements. That's the sulfur and the chlorine. Next, we change the ending on the second element to IDE. So we cross out the INE, change it to IDE. So far, we have a name of sulfur chloride for SCL2. Now we're going to use prefixes. We're going to put them in front of each element based on the number of atoms present. For the sulfur, there's only one sulfur, so we don't do anything there. For the chlorine, though, we have a two, and we use the prefix di. So we're just going to put di in front of chlorine, and that makes the name for SCL2 sulfur dichloride. And note this is a lowercase d for the second name. If you were given the name here and asked to write the formula, you know you have one sulfur, and the di means you have two chlorine atoms. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.